Hello there. I wanted to give you a demonstration on how one can record a screencast when you're using SlideShare.net's Zipcast. Hi, my name is Doug. And to do this, we're going to have to have uh, two accounts previously set up. I'm starting here at the first one, which is ScreenR.com. You can see the uh, ScreenR.com. And get yourself a free account there because this will allow you up to five minutes of recording your screen, your computer screen. Uh, and that's what I'm using to uh, record what I'm going to show you here because uh, if you want to have a recorded uh, session, uh, you'll need to do this. If not, uh, you'll just skip all this entirely and uh, navigate directly to your account on SlideShare.net. What is SlideShare.net? It's been around for a number of years and it's a great place for one to put their slideware that you would like to share with the uh, worldwide community and so forth. So let's assume that you've got your account set up on SlideShare and you want to uh, provide this uh, to some folks there and you like to do it in a new and unique way. And SlideShare has just recently launched what they call Zipcast. And here you are on the home page of SlideShare.net and right here you can see Zipcast. You click on Zipcast and that takes us to the Zipcast page. Now I would like to uh, start a Zipcast and over here on the right hand side you can see the five different steps and I'll demonstrate this. It's going to take longer to explain than it actually does in practice here so we'll just uh, click on uh, Zipcast here and the first thing that's going to prompt, uh, pop up will be a uh, announcement that you can send out a Twitter tweet and let people know that uh, they could watch uh, at this particular location and join us and you're all set to go. You can also make arrangements to notify people uh, separately by email, schedule a time, and, and that sort of thing. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, put out a Twitter tweet, and we'll have that taken care of. So if you already have a Twitter account, it's going to facilitate putting it out there. And I'll put out the uh, information as a Twitter tweet, and off it goes. And I'm starting that. Let's go back to our Zipcast. And uh, while we were sending out our Twitter tweet, the Zipcast prompts you to uh, this information about allowing access to your webcam as well as your audio here. So we're getting that set up and here's yours truly. So now we have the opportunity to put yourself in. Now, while you're watching this as a recorded version, I want you to imagine you're seeing this live, uh, unplugged, so to speak there. So you would have myself, I'm uh, speaking to the camera, and uh, narrating the uh, accompanying slides that I have on uh, slideshare.net. Now, since I'm using the free account here, uh, there are some uh, uh, limitations, so to speak. Uh, one is that you're going to have uh, ads uh, pop up. It's going to be uh, ad supported to some degree. Uh, if you wanted to make it a private broadcast, you're going to need to get the pro account there. So you may make the, uh, those choices here. But uh, you do have some uh, interesting features here where you can uh, uh, add a chat uh, conversation here. Watch me on uh, SlideShare. Like if I spell it right here, SlideShare.net, uh, and whatever is appropriate that you uh, want to uh, put in your chat window. And of course, your audience can be uh, replying as well here. Uh, there's a line here if you want to create a uh, conference call line, you'd be uh, all set there, and which I think is a uh, neat feature. Also, if you wanted to, you could uh, check the box uh, indicating uh, Facebook, so it would post information relative to uh, your conversation. And here we have the first slide of my particular presentation. Again, you're able to add the live, uh, unplugged uh, version of yourself to narrate the slides as you're going through the uh, respective material and explaining things, such as uh, the uh, campfires and now we have social media and that social media are the digital campfires for tribes worldwide and carry on with your presentation. Hope that's proven helpful to you when you might want to add a live component to uh, your next uh, slideware presentation rather than being the webinar where you're just sort of the audio, the voice behind the slides and all. Now you can add a little bit of personality, uh, indicate the body language and, and that sort of thing and make it more interesting and engaging uh, presentation. Hope this proves helpful to you. Bye for now.